Daina, I want to move to Saudi Arabia. I want to bring my family over. How, what, how much? A lot of questions that I've, at this point, my email is saturated because I can't keep responding to every, everybody. The same question, the same question. So this video is going to be answering most of the frequently asked questions on the true cost of living, the true cost of, you know, relocating from Nigeria to Saudi Arabia in 2023. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. It is your favorite baby girl, Mama Daina Ekuwebe in the building and today's video mm, i know we're going to be sharing a lot of numbers so get your calculators i'm going to be sharing in real in naira in dollars so um if you have any other currency you have in mind you can easily convert it and yeah can we delve in one of the most I would say most asked questions since I moved here is how much did it cost for all of you as a family of five um, to move to Saudi Arabia? Um, I'm going to be breaking that down, like I said. If you see me looking down here, I've collected all the facts and figures from my husband, so um, that's why I have to be looking down here to confirm the numbers, the cost of living, how much are we spending on food, what are the bills that we pay here, how much is the rent, blah, 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 blah. Sit back, this is the video for you, and I know, I know most of you have been waiting on this, and yeah, should we, should we, should we start with the relocation i'm going to do a separate video on you know moving as a dependent all the things that i had to do but this video is just highlighting the prices of things that we had to pay a whole dependent video is coming my life as a dependent moving settling in all of that don't worry you're going to be getting it soon that's why i'm here come on but yeah let's start with relocation 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 what are the things that my husband had to pay for before we came here. Um, the first thing was the visa fee. All these figures were around October, November last year, 2022. I don't know, because of the Japa rates. When I say Japa, I mean the number of people, the amount of people living in Nigeria now, things must have gone up. When my husband left for Saudi Arabia 2021, there wasn't anything like, you know, police character, police this. He didn't have to pay for it. But when I was coming, I had to pay. So please confirm and cross check um, with the little changes here and there with the prices of whatsoever I'm going to be sharing in this video. And disclaimer, I am not an agent though, please. The way people have been asking some questions, I am not a travel agent. I cannot connect you to any travel agent. If you want the one that I, we personally use, maybe I can give you, but I don't have a ton of agents that I'm working with or that deals with relocation. So please bear that in mind when you're asking your questions. So yeah, the visa fee um, was around 40,000 Naira. That was how much we had to pay for me and for the three children, Somjachi, Yagazi, and Nedema, 40,000 40, Naira. Then I alone, if you guys remember, I went to Abuja and I had to do medical test, police character, and my biometrics. Um, my medical was 27,500 as of the time that I did it. The biometric was 12,900 Naira. And the police character was around 45,000. It was exactly, not around, it was exactly 45,000 Naira. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a video on how the processes, you know, all of that, all of that, how long it took, how I applied, how the ones that gave me wahala, the ones that gave me headache, I'm going to do a separate video, you know, coming to Saudi Arabia as a dependent so that we don't have this video too, too jam-packed, okay? Um, then let's move on to the cost of relocation. Obviously, there are so many factors you have to put into consideration. Um, Flight to and fro, most of it was covered by the hospital, most of it was covered by the 
I don't know what they call it, is it insurance or whatsoever that the doctors here, they do with the individual hospitals. So that was out of the question. Then all those little, little things, you know, buying of food, buying of, you know, clothes, but that's depending on you, how you want to move. If you want to carry the whole of Nigeria like we did, <laughs> it's up to you to go into, you know, the market and start shopping and start packing and start doing all of that. All that one is dependent on you. If you want to come empty, it's still your choice. But um, one thing that I will tell you is that where we are, especially in the village we are here in Saudi Arabia, you don't get to see African stores. There are zero, zero African stores. I mean, you get some of the Nigerian foods like cocoyam, plantains, and all that, but you're not going to see palm oil, you're not going to see ogun, you're not going to see obono, you're not going to see a whole lot of native, you know, things that are quite native to us. Um, not gonna see any of that here if you're open as you know as open as oh let me go and just be trying whatsoever that they have there i don't really mind if i don't see nigerian dishes then that's your prerogative it's still good it's still a way to you know get to know the culture to assimilate to meet the locals to interact to just you know settle properly because it's gonna make you spend as much as it's making you spend you're gonna be going out you know speaking the language and all that it's a whole different thing altogether but yeah that's like i said your prerogative um let's now move to the cost of living here in saudi arabia most of you have tried to ask me can i compare living here in saudi to nigeria obviously there are I, i've told you people i cannot compare there are things that it's just peculiar to Nigeria. You can't find it anywhere else. You can, it's, it's home. It's just home. At the same time, there are things here that we are currently enjoying as a family of five that if we were in Nigeria, we'll be spending more. We will be a lot more insecure. We'll just be financially bankrupt, I would say, you know, for the little and basic amenities that are little to nothing here, like come almost free. I would say but yeah um that's that's I, I just can't make that comparison let's just delve into the cost of living in Saudi as a family of five mind you mind you most of these things are coming out from my husband's accounts like I said I'm not allowed to work here I'm not allowed to you know what I'm saying this is it's on my visa I stamped on my visa as a dependent you are not permitted to work that's the only English thing on my visa. Every other thing is in Arabic. And I get people who keep sending me Instagram messages, empathizing, sympathizing. Oh, I feel sorry for you. Don't feel sorry for me. I don't want to work. I'm not even in the mental capacity, the physical capacity with the three children I have to even do any type of work. I know that most of you are doing that out of serious concern. I have people in Riyadh, Jeddah, trying to link me up to, you you know businesses and all that for now i'm just not interested i just don't want to get into trouble i just don't want to delve into that path if it's working for you perfect if it's working for you fine but for now for me the way they've said it is the way i'm leaving it those of you said that there are corners i i'm not interested i please stop 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 i'm not interested in working right now and even if you give me a job how three children under three years, no help, no support. How, how am I expected to work? Like, how do I get around that? So um, I'm, I'm, thank you so much for your concerns. Thank you for, you know, always putting me in mind, putting me in your thoughts, but please respect the fact that I, uh, this is just what, this is where I want to be this year, 2023, just, being a serious housewife you get anyway let's let's start touching on these figures i didn't intend this video to be long you know let's let's keep it short and keep it moving one thing you have to know here is that they do pay bills monthly they pay for the things that they need to pay for here monthly unlike in nigeria where rent is yearly obviously every other thing you have to pay every month but here 
rent is monthly and the amount we're paying for house rent here in Naira is equivalent to 150,000. I'm giving you a range. A range for the kind of you most of you have seen where we live is a two-bedroom apartment most of you have roughly seen how big spacious accommodating everything is here hot water cold water everything everything is here so um yeah 150,000 naira to 200,000 naira that's the range we're paying mind you this percentage is little i wouldn't say little to nothing but Compared to your salary, it's like if you're getting paid a million naira, it's like removing 100,000 naira from a million naira. That's the comparison to, you know, whatever my husband is being paid here as a medical doctor. Um, water bill here is 30,000 to 50,000 naira a month depending on how much water you consume groceries miscellaneous every other thing we spend in a month is from three hundred thousand to five hundred thousand naira every month these are the only bills that have been paid here in saudi arabia i know i know it's mad right some people can relate some people cannot relate but then um here there are no taxes no you do pay taxes you know when you shop for things you don't even feel it the vat and all that you don't feel it but then um yeah that's that's about it the video is colors the video is finished <laughs> the video is finished these are the only bills you pay here every single month your rent your water and your miscellaneous your our wi-fi here we get to share with the whole building this is like two or three story building we get to share with the whole building so is is little to just little to nothing little to nothing here but yeah um i just basically wanted to break these things down to you wherever you are wherever you're watching from share with me in the comment section below what are the bills you have to pay for what are the taxes what's the taxes to salary range how is it are you able to save are you able to hear one thing i can assure you is that if you're living in the middle east you're able it, it gives you the ability with all the things that people say about the middle east one thing that is certain is that you get to save a lot of money because most most, most things are i don't know it, it's, it's just what it is you don't get to pay up for a whole lot here you're just paying for the basic shelter water and you know your daily life that's just it and it just depends on you this 300 to 500,000 is when we've actually run out of things if we've cooked like in bulk and all that in a whole two months and all you're still not spending close to 300k a month but yeah that's just what i wanted to bring to you guys because most of you have been asking like i said i'm going to be doing a video you know highlighting how i moved here as a dependent all the processes um that all the things that happened in nigeria all the things i went through you know detailing everything step by step and relocating with my husband and my family my my family basically to saudi arabia like i said share with me in the comment section where you're watching from do you get to pay bills what are the bills do you get taxed um how much are you taxed are you able to save a lot more if you live in nigeria tell me is it fair enough is it something that you would consider is your husband here because i see a lot of people who have been inspired to actually come join their families here because they've seen me move so let me know with all the things you've seen so far do you think you would be able to boldly make that move to join your family or yeah share with me in the comment section below hopefully you found this video very very useful give it a massive thumbs up if you did subscribe down below and hopefully i am going to see you guys in my next one for now bye bye